Hello, hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video here on environmentalism with Shalom where we are consciously seeking innovative ways of creating and maintaining a more healthier and a more harmonious relationship with mother nature. I am telling you there is a lot of benefits that come with having a healthy relationship with the environment and actually being aware of that relationship. I mean it is good for your soul, it's good for your spirit okay and i cannot wait to tell you all about that because today's topic is green spaces and greening what it is the importance the benefits and why you should actually consider greening your immediate spaces and without talking too much let's just get right to today's video okay I just want to start by defining what green spaces are and what greening is because those are the terms that I'm going to be referring to literally the entire video and I really want you to understand what I am talking about okay so what are green spaces so green spaces or a green space is a land or an area that is completely or partly covered with any type of greenery it could be grass it could be trees shrubs flowers any type of vegetation really set apart for recreational or aesthetic purposes in an otherwise urban environment examples of green spaces could be parks nature reserves gardens golf courses soccer fields school playgrounds any space that is with greenery in an urban space is considered as a green space greening is the process of creating green spaces but it is definitely not limited to that because it is all about becoming more aware of environmental considerations becoming more environmentally friendly aligning with goods and services laws policies and guidelines that claim reduced minimal or no harm upon ecosystems it is all about finding that balance between you and your surrounding environment and you can literally green anything you can green your school you can green your home you can green your office you can green your organization you can green your brand image you can even green yourself because it is all about your attitude towards mother nature not even saying mother nature but your surrounding space your surrounding environment now before i dive into the benefits of green spaces in a community or within individuals i would like to point out a few of my concerns not even my concerns but the concerns that do exist when it comes to the green spaces in south africa we got problems people we got problems now, South Africa or Africa at large is constantly faced with scenes of inequalities and just like any other socio-economic factors in South Africa, green spaces are so, so unequally distributed, it is not even a joke. It is so bad. And they are obviously abundant in rich white neighborhoods and barely there in poor neighborhoods. And just to put this whole thing in, into perspective, I'm going to refer to these as the suburbs and the township. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there is gang, and I mean gang, green spaces and just general residential greenery in the suburbs than there is in the townships for example you can walk in the street in a suburb where there is literally this canopy of mature trees in every street but go to a township there is barely trees in the streets the only trees that are there is like trees in highways trees in the main roads but not in between the houses not those roads i mean so some of the townships, the roads are not even paved. That's how much there is environmental racism. Yes, people, there is what we call environmental racism. And there is also what we call green apartheid, which is the unequal distribution of greenery in South Africa. I mean, look at this difference. Look at this difference. Is this okay with you? Don't you think that this is a problem? Something can be done. Something should be done. And we should actually have that conversation. And I know that some of you may be thinking, okay, dude, it is just greenery. It is just trees. But it is not. And it matters. And if you think this is okay, if you think this is okay, there is something wrong with you. And before you cut my head off, let me just lay down a few benefits that come with the green spaces in the community and within individuals. And you will be shocked. You are actually going to change your perspective when it comes to just a park, just a tree, 
any kind of plant did you know that viewing green spaces and that can be just looking at a tree or sitting in a park and just viewing the greenery that is in the park it can reduce anger it can reduce fear it can reduce stress and it can increase a pleasant feeling and i know that most of us have experienced that feeling that you get when you are within nature within trees within flowers this sense of calmness that you get okay it is not just coincidence girl it is evidence that you are not separate from nature but a part of it we are connected okay and nature restores it soothes our souls i mean a study conducted in the university of illinois and university of hong kong found that the denser the forest the lesser the stress which suggests that by you taking a walk down a street with trees or taking a walk through a park or just being within nature it can prove beneficial to your mental and social well-being they also found that nature experiences help us feel kinder towards other people and that is partly because plants release chemicals called phytocytes and when we breathe them in they can lower blood pressure lower anxiety levels lower muscle tension and lower the production of stress and also they found that nature experiences can even reduce mortality that just a simple plant in the room just a simple one plant in a room can have significant impact on anxiety and stress levels with these amazing benefits people who live in townships are deprived of these benefits and if they do want to experience these benefits they have to travel to spaces that are with the greenery and also just to make my point there's this article that i found that actually inspired my video today uh, let me look for where it is actually relevant to the point that I am saying right now. The, the study that they conducted uh, found that, for instance, when they examined how public parks are distributed over the country, they found that African residents have to walk an average of 17 minutes to get to their closest park, while white residents have to walk only 7 minutes. Black Africans will also have to walk along streets with less and often no tree cover this is perhaps exaggerated in areas designated as locations or townships and people think that this is not a problem okay yes this is one that's frustrated eh? see angry see as which was happening can't all we need is a bit of greenery Scientists in the Netherlands found that people who live in residential areas without greenery have a 44% higher rate of experiencing physician diagnosed disorders than people who live in the spaces with greenery. Talk about the benefits. Talk about it doesn't matter. Just to prove my point of the importance of green spaces in a community, specifically the implementation of green spaces in townships let me read you what oxford dictionary says about green spaces so oxford dictionary uh, tells us that urban green spaces can promote mental and physical health and reduce morbidity and mortality in urban residents by providing psychological relaxation and stress alleviation stimulating social cohesion supporting physical activity mitigating flooding and reducing exposure to air pollutants noise and excessive heat hey have you noticed how hot it is in the townships than it is in the suburbs hmm have you ever wondered why it is partly because of the lack of green spaces in the townships okay because greenery trees they regulate temperature okay i'm not gonna go deep into that because that's just gonna make my video too long but yeah you can even google it for yourself you know it is so deep that sometimes the township and the suburb are separated by one street like literally one street and the other side it is so green it is so cool it is so refreshing and the other side it is just so gray it is so dull literally it's not motivating it is not motivating at all i mean our government can do something about this this is not cool this is not okay but i really feel that our government our local authorities are not doing anything about this problem not spreading awareness not trying to come up with initiatives to balance the greenery in south africa they are not trying to educate the people about the benefits and importance of green spaces and because townships have been without greenery for the longest time we think it's normal that that's just how it is and we don't even see any problem we think it doesn't matter and it's really saddening that we don't even hear conversations about green spaces and greenery in general in jail. and i wonder are they ignorant are they not considering the quality of the lives of people who live in townships or they just don't give a shit
And I know that our government can do something about this. It is possible, okay? They can literally just start by planting trees in the streets of townships. Something as simple as that. They can actually start an initiative where they educate the people to actually create their own green spaces, okay? Which I think is more effective because when people know how to do something and they are aware of the purpose and the importance of that thing, it is easy for them to even take care of that thing. But it is often developers that contribute the most towards the creation of green spaces. And that is because well, not they are aware and they know of the benefits that come with green spaces to urban residents. And so they heavily include greenery in their developments. I mean, we see this in Maboneng, in the Absa Precinct, in Gandhi Square, in Bramfontein. And they're going to charge more for those apartments because taking care of the green spaces, it is money. And that is why apartments in locations that are with the green spaces are more expensive than apartments that are in spaces without green spaces. You should actually Google it. You will see for yourself. And also studies have shown that citizens prefer greener development and they don't even mind paying even more for it. <laughs> Now, the question is, where does this leave townships? If the developers are the biggest contributors and mostly the ones who play a huge role in greening our spaces for their personal gains, which makes sense from a business mentality. And of course, maintenance ain't easy. Developers are not attracted to townships because of economic factors and the fact that townships overall receive limited investments or development or redevelopment due to the perceived risk profile of those locations. We hardly see any greening initiatives. I think and believe that townships deserve to be as green as the suburbs. Because at the end of the day, who greens the suburbs? Who maintains the greenery in the suburbs? Is it the residents? I doubt it is the residents. And maybe in some instances it was the residents, but most of the green spaces that are in the suburbs are created and maintained by local municipalities and the government. And so it's like, why is it not the same with the townships? I think we just need to do it ourselves because in so many things, the government has just always disappointed us in some way or another. You know, there was this article that I read that actually made me angry. And it was written by a professor, a whole professor, which she said that public green spaces seem to provide the perfect venues for illicit activities. As a result, many RDP and township residents prefer public green spaces that provide sport facilities and dislike green areas that are densely ve vegetated. Lush vegetation provides space for criminals to hide and carry out their criminal acts. Personal safety or the perception thereof is a deciding factor in the usage of green spaces. I mean, that's a <laughs> I mean, I'm not even gonna mention that a professor who wrote that but that's a bullshit saying that people in townships don't want um, vegetation because criminals are gonna are you serious are you for real I mean what do you take us for what kind of thinking is that what kind of thinking is that like I don't want to even talk about that but that's a bullshit honestly that's a bullshit anyways it is possible to do it ourselves we can actually just start by planting trees in our own homes did you even know that trees can actually increase your property value yes they can you can start by just having plants in your home i mean guys plant having plants in your home is not a rich people thing it is a human necessity you need that now i know that some of you may argue that south africa or townships have too many problems to be worrying about parks or green spaces but i just want to point out that these things are not a luxury these things are not luxury they are not for rich people they are not for rich neighborhoods but they are a human necessity we all deserve to benefit from mother nature and that is why i just want to encourage us to actually do it ourselves and not depend on the government to do literally everything for us we can also do something about it you can actually start greening your home by reducing your waste through recycling reducing and reusing and i know that most of us really take these things lightly because it's like what is that going to do 
but trust me trust me it goes a long way there is a lot of benefits that come with that and i honestly understand why we normally take these things lightly and i blame these companies this organization these adverts where you find them globalizing our environmental issues ah save the environment save the planet or oh, global warming global pollu and sakikena kai how is me recycling in my own house going to help y'all with global warming it's like it don't make sense but i believe that if it is done in a way that people are educated and told what recycling does for them in their own space and their community that whatever they are doing it is to prosper them it is to improve their mental and social well-being you know then it's a different story then if everybody is doing these things for themselves as selfish as it sounds but everybody is doing something for themselves but at the end of the day that is going to be literally a global solution and that extends to my idea of township doing it themselves that imagine if just 50 people planted trees in their yards for themselves being aware of the benefits that will come with the planting of those trees that is literally changing like everything that is literally a movement done by individual people in their individual spaces but at the end of the day everybody is going to benefit in that community do it for yourself do the research and i really encourage you guys to do the research for yourself what can you do because i cannot fit everything in this video and that way we are literally changing the world we are changing the narrative we are taking action we are becoming the generation that is taking action that is seeking information to better our communities to balance the inequalities that exist in south africa and if you have questions of how you can green your space of how you can green your school your organization your brand image do holla at me because i cannot fit all these things in this one video but trust me greening your brand image your house your office your organization your school can have so many benefits social benefits uh, mental benefits physical benefits economical benefits trust me anyways we have come to the end of today's video please subscribe to my channel like comment hit the notification bell so that every time i post a video you are notified i really really hope that you enjoyed today's video and i cannot wait to see you on my next day y'all